Hello and welcome to the Industrial Boot Camp Series. My name is Kerry Rose. I'm the Industrial Channel Account Manager for the Southeast. With me today is Marty Reagan, Industrial Channel Account Manager for the Southwest, and Nick Wysong, Industrial Technical Sales Engineer for the Southeast, South Central, and West. This is episode 13, and it's called Deja Vu All Over Again. And today we're covering the emerging standard of single-pair Ethernet. This is a very exciting topic because it will further digital transformation in buildings, building automation systems, and of course, industrial automation networks. Next slide. The concept or the strategy for single pair ethernet is to replace existing legacy protocols and proprietary networks at the edge with ethernet using a simple media solution. This creates a potentially ubiquitous edge to cloud network the key points of single pair Ethernet from an industrial perspective are that it will simplify access to field devices, replacing traditional bus networks like DeviceNet, ProbiBus, and CAN networks that are bandwidth limited with SPE will vastly improve information collection. In addition to protocol standardization across legacy networks, media types, connectorization, and rules of deployment are also standardized. This should reduce operational expenses. Reaching the edge is difficult, and it may be cost prohibitive to reach the edge with traditional four pair Ethernet using traditional structured cabling methodologies and deployments. Example, the 100 meter rule is limiting. The other issue with industrial IoT equipment like sensors, they will require power and other devices will require control signals. So the single pair Ethernet standard incorporates power over data line transmissions. Lastly, holistic network security policies can be built for the cloud right down to the very edge. Next slide. Referencing the TIA 1005A model and the Purdue model overlay, we see that single pair ethernet is deployed at this level zero or at cabling subsystem number one. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Nick and he's gonna explain some of the details of single pair ethernet. Thanks, Kerry. Single pair ethernet is truly designed for the plant floor with transmission speeds of 10 megabytes for distances up to 1,000 meters, it's going to change the way you think about deploying your sensors and actuators on the plant floor. SPE also uses Poodle, or a power over data line, for up to 50 watts of power. So now you can get power and data over the same copper wire. SPE allows up to 10 connections on that 100 meter run or 1,000 meter run or you can use multi-drop topology similar to an electrical bus system. Standard wire size for SPE is going to be 18 gauge. So some of you might be thinking you can reuse that old wire that's sitting up in the ceiling. That can be correct. However, with standards changing and cables degrading over the years, we always recommend you field test the copper wire first. SPE uses single protocol, which enables capability across all devices. And with all communication done over one language, SPE will be the future of all industrial edge applications. Also with SPE, the overall cost per node is reduced. There is no longer the need to have power supplies near the edge device, thus eliminating some of the control panels on the plant floor. Best of all, you'll be able to maintain the proper MICE ratings on your deployment. Marty? Thank you, Nick. Industrial edge applications highlight the need for lower speed ethernet solutions in harsh environments to support automation and process control systems. Today, this space is leveraging base T solutions from enterprise space that have been in place for over 40 years. The ethernet community defined the IEEE 802.3 CG standard for single pair Ethernet as 10 megabytes per second operation plus power delivery over a single twisted pair. The standard offers speed, distance, and power delivery that is optimal for many industrial projects. The physical footprint for the cabling infrastructure is reduced to the size in size and weight to 25% of a typical Category 6 cable. This along with the ability to consolidate multiple legacy protocols into a single network protocol will drive the promise of Ethernet's multi-level interoperability as solutions to support this technology come to the market in the very near future. 
The standardized form factors shown here in the slide for both IP20 and IP67 requirements will be simple and robust, easy to terminate in the field, and will be about the size of an LC fiber connector. Next. <clears throat> In this episode, we discuss single pair Ethernet and its alignment with the architecture at subsystem level zero. With this, se with this session, we complete the physical layer solutions throughout the industrial network. Next. Thank you for joining today. Join us for episode 14 titled, What Just Happened Here? as we discuss Panduit's industrial network monitoring solution interview. Please feel free to share these short recordings and reach out to your local territory account manager or contact one of us directly if you need further assistance. We'll also post this on our LinkedIn pages as a format to share as well.